Welcome back to Brown Man Gaming Plus and today we are playing The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt All right let me let me show you the progress that I have made since the last episode So if I take a look at the map <clears throat> I have explored all of this village and and I have uh, visited every question mark that I would see and I have uh, explored them and there were some treasures I mean some places where there was treasure and I have looted all that treasure and uh, in the process I have collected some side quests also and um, th these these uh, these places that I explored were uh not that important because they they were mostly bandits or these power places which gave me ability points uh i have not yet updated my character i thought i'll do it along with you guys and uh i have not uh gone to any place that i had thought would uh, would add to the story in the game so for example i didn't go to this uh, herbalist and I did not go to uh, this uh, this quest available sign because I wanted to do it with you guys. So um, yeah, that's that's the things that I have not done. Now, if I take a look at the journal, uh, these are the uh, side quests that I completed after uh, the last video. I mean, these were just um, these were just treasures. Nothing more. Uh, nothing more. And uh, look, most of them are like Tumerian rebels uh, that are, uh, you know, that are hiding in the forest for uh, as a as kind of a, a rib, uh, you know small time rebels that are trying they, that that they think that they will be able to uh, defeat Nilfgaardian army. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of funny. Although I know Tumeria, I mean. I uh, with uh, I I like King Foltest, um, but Temeria is in shambles. And if you have watched my Witcher 2 playthrough, I mentioned that I want as much chaos as possible uh, in that playthrough so that it can be taken over to uh, the Witcher 3. Although all although most of the decisions that you make in Witcher 2 uh, don't make any don't make uh, don't make significant. Uh, significant difference in the game but you know uh, but there are some things that uh, that can play a role like uh, in the previous game I let Sheila the transfer go I let um, uh, Letho go I let them both live I also let the dragon live I left it to its fate so Saskia should be alive or dead due to natural causes but i never killed her um i uh, i had uh, king hensel killed so of course uh Adern and kate one they were uh, they were left to utter chaos man and that is what i wanted so uh anais was saved in the last game and uh, she went with king radovid to redania and i'm uh, i am uh, I'm hoping to see some positive, I mean, some positive or negative outcome of that decision. Uh, the, the decisions that didn't matter uh, from Witcher 2 to Witcher 3 is that all non-humans uh, have to suffer. All, uh, all, uh, all mages, wizards and uh, sorceresses, they have to, uh, they have to suffer because they, they, they had a, they hatched a big plot to kill all these kings that the king Demovan, king hensel uh king uh Foltest, and they were about to kill king hensel when you know when we went there and killed him ourselves <laughs> so yeah so that is something that's constant so now uh without any further ado let's do uh two things today let's get on with the game and before we get on with the game let me go to the character screen and upgrade the abilities
<clears throat> so I, as you can see, I have five points available. One I got from uh, level up from level one to two, and rest four were uh, due to all these uh, due to all these uh, places of power. So one, two, uh, three, and four. I have not visited this one yet. We'll do that in a while, but till then, uh, I'm gonna upgrade my character. Uh, all right, so let's see what we should upgrade. So, um, while I played this game, I played a lot. Now I have, I think after after the last video, uh, I think those videos were like one hour each, and I had already put six hours in the game, and after that, I put another six hours to explore this village yes six hours because i uh, i went all on foot to collect as many plants as possible and make as many potions and uh, uh bombs and other stuff as possible oh and while we are on the subject let me tell you about uh about alchemy here so this this game uh, has uh has a different approach to these uh, to the way these potions work so you don't have to keep collecting these items to craft these uh, potions again and again like you would in in the witcher 2 or even in witcher 1 I rem uh, if i remember correctly uh, what happens in witcher 3 now is that you have to create it just once so if i create swallow if i craft it once it will always be in my inventory all right uh, the difference is uh, that if i go to my potions tab and if i see uh, swallow here it, uh, notice how it says uh, swallow potion two out of three charges right uh, it means that I, uh, in uh, uh, that i can i can use this potion three times and uh, when i use it the third time this potion i cannot use and i have to meditate to replenish uh, replenish the the potions that I have and in order to replenish the potions I also need to have a hard alcohol in my inventory so if I have a hard alcohol in my inventory and I meditate the game will automatically put all the potions that you have previously crafted in your inventory so for all the potions you need only one one hard alcohol and that's it and you are done and this is this is uh, very very welcome change i would say because uh in the previous game you would you know i would go on collecting stuff now i don't need to care about the stuff that i've already collected i can focus on on the stuff that i need to create uh other potions and other bombs all right so that's a short tutorial on the potions <laughs> all right so um let's go see what we should upgrade so yeah so like i was saying i've already put like 13 to 15 hours in the game let me see how much uh yeah 14 hours i have put in the game and uh i have noticed that i should get this fast attack as soon as possible because i have been fighting a lot of uh lot of uh wild animals and uh, and the monsters like drowners and neckers and whatnot and fast attacks really help so that is one thing that I can have but remember in this game you have even if you have five points available it doesn't mean that you can use all five of them you have to put them in a slot that's right you have to put them in a slot for them to make any impact so uh in effect i only have one point available because i've already i have only one slot available and if you have seen my previous uh witcher 2 gameplay you know that i i put too much emphasis on dialogue which is why i'll always have axi uh in in the slot i don't use axi much in the combat but I do use it when it's available during the dialogues and that's how I like to play because I like to be persuasive I like to have that Jedi mind control power with me and you know that can really turn the game and that's that's why I love it all right and since I have uh, and also notice that I have a green colored mutagen here 
which gives me uh, plus 50 vitality so if i unlock one ability in in the green uh, green section and put it here it will give me added bonus so let's see what we can uh, increases potion overdose threshold don't need it don't need it No need, not needed. I don't need this one either. So, a uh, green one, green things are out of question. I don't need the green ones. Okay, this uh, this um, uh, this sustained glyphs can be a candidate. You know what? Let's acquire it anyway. <clears throat> Let's put it in this slot and uh, let's explore. What else do we have? Sun and stars. No. Increases maximum vitality by five hundred. Okay, this can come in handy and then I won't need this uh, vitality mutagen but I don't have any other mutagen so I'll still use it can I get this Okay, I can <clears throat> go for strong back also, but I don't really need it right now. In this game, inventory management is, is very nice. Gorsh on power. The bonus from a place of power lasts indefinitely. All right. Eating food regenerates vitality for 20 minutes. Oh, nice. I think this one. Uh, this fast attack uh, damage increased by 5% is really, really needed. Okay, deflect arrows, yes. Right, so there is one more point available, but I don't see any uh, any thing that I can unlock right now that I am interested to unlock right now. So um, you know what I can do? I can put this one here, and then uh, whenever I talk to people, I'll have to now remember to put the axi thing in slot and actually I can spend my here.
Okay, the way they have designed the game now, I think it's. Uh, I'm not sure if I like it too much, but I'll have to keep changing uh, my powers depending on the situation that I'm in. And I don't know. Let's see how it plays out. Why can I not save the game? I'm not in combat. All right, thank you. <clears throat> All right, guys. So um. I think what I'm gonna do now is to is to uh, do this little side quest and also uh, discover what's in these two places, these two interesting places. But before I do that, let's go to this place of power. Or you know what? Let it go. Let it go. We'll go there if we have to during any other mission. So let's go to this herbalist. Actually, uh, we'll fast travel from Wollstone Bridge. Think those plums are wreaking havoc on me, guy. Grand told me about. Don't you thing. look at me. Lad went missing one day, so I hope Lad will reach me with his hunting. What happened to your heart? And let's put. Okay, yeah, this abandoned site is something that I found uh, but i thought that there might be some story in it so i didn't actually go there i i i, I went by the side of it so let's let's go there go here now that i have noticed it What the fuck? What's going on? Area liberated? Man, they have made it like Far Cry or and Assassin's Creed. What the fuck? Oh, thanks. Alright, let's talk to this Martin. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Okay, so he sells alchemy items. Alright, so this guy is useless for me. Farewell. 
<clears throat> okay, so they have they have like taken inspiration from games like Far Cry. It looks like that you can liberate the areas and then the villagers will come back. Thanks for everything. No problem. All right, so now, oh, they have a grindstone. I can use it. All right, let's go to this herbalist. And these cloth they it's like interacting with with the character that's so cool Hello, man, she looks good. What the fuck? Lena, who is she? Let's talk to this yes. woman. Oh, so she was injured by the griffin. Okay. Griffin do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Hmm. I've agreed to kill the Griffin. No more victims after I do. <laughs> there will be, of course. With the Griffin gone, others will kill in its stead. Monsters or men. Oh, that's so true. So what do you think I should do? <clears throat> Ply your trade. But don't think you can change anything. Wow. Okay, what's your story? Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bear his chest to work. The novices <laughs> couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Nenake refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word. Gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed. Until I finally arrived here. End of story. Ah, okay, so she also knows Nenake. If you guys have, uh, if you guys have not heard about her, um, she is uh, she's a she's a frequently mentioned character in in the Witcher novels, and she's the uh, she's the high priestess in in a in a temple in Elander. This temple is uh, dedicated to Melitle. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. And um, uh, she uh, she uh, she has a uh, huge following uh, in her temple over there and uh, Geralt also likes to go there whenever he's in need of repairs you know <laughs> so when 
when he uh, uh, you know when he uh, killed or or i mean when he uh, when he released the curse on on striga foltest uh, daughter uh, the, the striga hurt him so much that she she like ate his neck all right and uh, he went to neneke's temple to uh, uh to get back on his feet again so that's how it works all right um yeah so this clear woman is uh is the one that was mentioned uh in in one of the journals that we found by the well uh the well where the devil was uh where that noon wraith was so let's let's ask her if she knows claire listen ever heard of a woman named claire lived around here heard of her a mild way to put it Claire was a friend, the only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed. But you saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Oh, so she gave us another quest. On death's bed, take brew a dose of the swallow up potion once again. Girl, at a new death, blah 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 blah. Take the potion to the herbalist. Okay, so I already have swallow. That's uh, that's how it goes when you explore. You already have things. <laughs> new item received. Saltpeter. Oh, saltpeter! I needed this. I needed this for. nothing wow okay <laughs> so what the frack yeah I need it salt Peter for this and oh I need calcium equum I need sulfur and I need uh, calcium equum. Okay. Yes. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Calcium equum. This is a. Uh, this is what I need. So I need one of this. I think. Not seven. I'm gonna buy just one. And uh, there was one more thing. Okay, what was it that I needed? Okay, this can be crafted now. For dancing star, I need sulfur. Okay, let's see if she has sulfur. Yes. Got any herbs you're willing to? I'm sure I can find. Sulfur.
All right, let me craft yeah. these items. And I want to see one thing if you guys can give me just one second. I'm thinking how does the how how do they look with with the hair works on? It will kill my frames, but I just want to see what what it looks like. Yes. Oh, now her hair is moving and all that. Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? We must admit. Hmm. <clears throat> there was. Nenaka. Farewell. I don't know, man. I mean, this. Uh... Uh, this hair works kill my frames it doesn't it not only kills the frames it brings in uh, micro stuttering you know and that sucks because everything lags and it doesn't add too much to the game all right um, let me give her the potion yes. and let's let's kill this quest Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. <laughs> like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift for giving a damn. Wow, I received 315 experience points. And this chick is beautiful. Alright, let's take a look at the journal once again. Uh, what's that? Um, scavenger hunt. While traveling the downtown, Carol found clues about the locations. Crafting the legendary equipment once worn by the Viper School of Achievement. Okay, so one I have already found. Looks like. Alright, let's track this quest. Actually, let's save the game. A quest is available here and then we have the quest that we are tracking over there scavenger hunt all right Oh, I think I also need to meditate because uh, I have only one swallow left now. But that's okay, I guess.
and also let's put the bombs your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It always sat there empty, this hut. That is, till the night of all the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like for his own. Standing at the window, peering at the goings on. He was to be. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan, for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Well, he seems he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. What's he doing, frying in the dark? But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. What happened then? Afore dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. We're old, black with sort, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. <coughs> Methinks the other fellow. Well, then he's lying there. All right, I'll help you. Never taken on a pan contract. <laughs> Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. All right, so where can I find the pan? Oh, it's in the hut. Hunting trousers, orange, rotting flesh. What the fuck? A corpse explains the stench. Oh. This frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing.
His throat, he was garroted. And some old scars, kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. <laughs> Cracked monocle. Interesting. Found the oh. plan, have you? A monocle. Interesting. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. Soot's just what the gentleman needed. He scraped it off, made ink out of it. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, sonny. For the road. Try up a nice white fish for some. Okay, this was an interesting <clears throat> side quest I don't think I've ever done anything like it in any of the previous Witcher games this was interesting all right let's take a look at the journal we have a scavenge uh -huh. let's go to let's go do this Okay, looks like I'll have to swim. Um, yeah, looks like I'll have to swim. But um, there is... Yeah, I think it will take time. Uh, I don't have that kind of time left on the clock. All right, guys. So I think this will have to be postponed to the next episode, and I will start the next episode just after, just from here. So you guys stay tuned. Uh, uh, whenever the next episode's up, we'll go to the uh, go do this side quest. All right, guys. You guys have a good one, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.